Okay, welcome to part two of the Tesla to Mustang motor swap. Okay, so I did a lot of work. I got the motor up into the car and have it hanging. Uh, and I'll show you what I did. I actually hung it by a uh, uh, very high strength threaded rod so I can move it up and down depending on the wheels and depending on the shocks. Or actually, they're going to have to be coilovers that I put on the car, it looks like at this point. So I'll show you what I did, show you what's going on, and um, hopefully it'll work out for you. Okay. Okay, so it's up in there. Which you can see, it's all happy. And I used threaded rod, real high strength threaded rod here, so that I can move this up and down. I got about an inch or so I can go up or down, you know, a little bit. But, you know, I don't want to be too low because if you look, the bottom of the car is right there and then the Tesla setup is lower than it, which me, which I believe just because the Teslas do do that uh, because of the battery pack and everything. So if you imagine a battery pack under here, it's probably about the right height. So anyway, again, this is threaded rod. I had to take all this out and I put in uh, bracing here. I boxed this in. It's going to be more up in here for more strength of course once I figure out the correct height we'll know exactly what we need to do there same on this side this is going to be more reinforced up in here once I get this is just temporary so this can come out so I can go up higher this is just like a spacer the shock mount which is kind of I have to figure out what I'm going to do here I can offset like that but there's not a lot of travel in if I put a, uh, a coilover shock set up here to hold the car up. So I might have to go from here and brace down under to here and come up with some type of bracing back here for a shock or a, like I said, a coilover shock to uh, do it, you know, to hold the car up instead of it used to have a coil spring in here which is gone now, so it's got to hold something up. It's going to be kind of like this over here, the roadster cycle. The way I hold the front of the roadster cycle up is with uh, coilovers down here. It's a coilover shock, kind of like on a motorcycle. And some T-buckets and that type of stuff you see in some you know, other builds as far as that goes. So that's what uh, we're going to do here. Everything has seemed to have gone pretty good. Um, a lot of cutting, you know, measuring, welding as far as that goes. And other than that, we're looking, we're looking pretty good. This is a water line in, the other water line's on the other side. Um, that's either an out or an in, I don't know, at this point. But it's looking pretty good. It's in there pretty solidly. This is just a mock-up. So that's not really what's, what's happening here. It's just something I mocked up just to see what I could do and what I shouldn't do uh, as far as that goes. I'm gonna get a hold of a uh, coilover shock manufacturer and talk to them since you know they're the ones that know what's going on with shocks, their diameters, that type of stuff. But I did all the measurements for the wheels, so I'm gonna to try to get some wheels together because that's really important. I need to get the wheels to be able to make sure that the engine's the right height I want it to, so the ride height is right. I want the ride height to be, you know, correct, like on a stock Mustang. You know, I want a bit, little bit lower, so it's, uh, you know, I think it looks better with it being a little bit lower. And plus, you know, there's a lot of canyons and stuff around here in Southern California, you can go, uh, go through and racing through as far as that goes. Not that I'm a street race or anything like that, but it is a place to go up and they do rallies and stuff up there, which would be great. It'd be fun to do, you know, a Tesla conversion in a Mustang rally. So anyway, this is part two of this and that's about it. We'll get a better shot under here if you want. These will be cut off to go up. I have to cut these off about an inch to give clearance. And then there'll be another bar that goes all the way across. Once I figured the motor, I'm gonna go all the way across with another bar and do the reinforcement and stuff um, to make sure it's solid. Cause like I said, this thing's got a lot of torque. So we gotta make sure that we uh, get it under control. All right, okay, thanks for watching. And next stop, part three.